everybody and welcome to the ARC Audio tutorial training series on the PS8 and our latest and greatest version of the PS8 software and firmware utility. This is episode number four and in this episode we're going to cover on how to use the turn on and off delays for your remote output trigger of the PS8 for your amplifiers. In a lot of other processors this feature is a fixed timing function which can result in things like turn on and turn off pop and other unwanted uh, turn on trigger cycle delays. In this case the PS8 has its own dedicated and adjustable turn on and turn off function. So let's get started. First we're going to come down here and we're going to turn on the software and we're going to go to the setup panel. Let's go ahead and increase the window size here a little bit for you guys. Alright and the two functions that we're looking at here is right here under setup is the turn on delay and turn off delay. Now adjustment of this is very simple. You just simply adjust the slider move it to whatever you need and once you're done it's set. Now close your software. At this point you're going to want to turn your system off and then turn your system back on otherwise known as power cycling. Once you turn your system back on you can go ahead now and power cycle your system one more time to verify if you were able to make that correction in what your system needs for a proper turn on and turn off cycle. Now one of the reasons why we did this at such extremes because if you go into the setup menu and you look our turn on and off delays can go out to 40 seconds. This increases compatibility for the system so it knows one when the actual system is turning on and two for some of the new Chryslers and the OEM integration uh, issues related with uh, turn on times up to 32 seconds and some of the Chryslers and GMs uh, some of the new Kenwood double den navigation radios it's just like a computer it takes time for it to actually power up and activate everything in its circuit before it unmutes its output and you don't want to have your system on running and unmuted when that actually reaches that point so you can make these adjustments based upon the individual needs of your system and one point that we can definitely emphasize here is sometimes more isn't always better especially in the turn off delay in a lot of cases the lowest setting is typically the best setting so that's it for now good luck and good tuning and we'll see you guys in the upcoming chapters of the arc audio tutorial training series have a good day